Okay, uh, hello guys. So this is Rani Ahmed with you, and this video, uh, thanks to SV Bunny, this is sponsored by SV Bunny. Uh, they sent me this uh, camera from US. Okay, it's uh, an SV105 camera. It's a camera that uh, is two megapixel webcam. Uh, it fits on a. It can sit on a. a telescope okay uh, the 1.25 inch telescope I have here you saw the moon using it a little bit okay see if I remove it you'll get the idea that this is the camera so this is it okay there's a little bit delay between me and uh, and my picture uh, on this video uh, because I'm using uh, an IP camera so uh, this this is the camera and I've added to it also from data so there's a uh, a field uh, like uh, uh, field extender if you want to say or a, a, f a focal reducer okay half times so you can add to it filters over here this is similar you can add even a, a focal reducer which is better okay and uh, they say also you can use also this app other than G uh, GUVC GUVC view I prefer GUVC view that you can use uh, one that they say is dedicated so also the the maxima uh, capture okay but I'm not gonna use it anyway okay this is the one you just uh, click connect and select the camera uh, and then uh, here it is and then start connecting and you can do the rest the same thing with any uh, application okay so this is the uh, camera and I'm gonna put again the it's a uh, the camera it's on uh, what I want to say uh, it fits on a telescope as you see here okay let me zoom okay let me add this okay here's the camera so you see it's a uh, as we want a camera anyway uh, yeah so it's an SB Bonnie camera okay Anyway, anyway, it's not a big deal. So, uh, there's another one if you want uh, that's like 8 megapixels, same thing, but it's just uh, uh, another uh, camera. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's focus on the moon again. Uh, I have a laser beam, as you see. Uh, I recommend, it like it's it's, in a, it's like something uh, that you can't avoid. You have to have a laser beam with your telescope. Okay, it's a laser pointer, one of those which can burn uh, cigarettes. Don't get anything uh, less. Okay. Here, and later I will be installing also uh, filters on a filter ruler. We will see that. Okay, uh, I the one that I have uh, is just a Celestron uh, filters. This is because that's what I have, actually. So we're gonna see it right now. Let me go. So here you see down there. Okay, the bag. This is a Celestron bag and the case, and uh, there's the ruler. Okay. Okay, and a barrel lens. You might need a barrel lens. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so this is the ruler. Okay, and I have a lot, lots of uh, filters on it. Uh, it's important to have one. There's one on AliExpress also that can have not only uh, 1.25 inch filters, but also the uh, uh, two inch filters at the same time. So that's awesome and can take both sizes, the 1.25 and uh, a two inch. Okay, so we're gonna install this. This is from Orion anyway. Okay. So 
so let's have a look and see the magic of the filters <coughs> see everything's live that's that's the beauty of having an IP camera okay and you can switch both size, uh, sides sites like uh, can just go like this. Don't want to waste lots of time, but you can just click a button. Okay, and see the other side. And okay, yeah, uh, that uh, lots of uh, problems get okay, to you. And I'm gonna install the uh, the filters without the focal reducer. Photo focal reducers can help you uh, enlarge the field of view see here it is okay this is the camera on it like I told you send us your bunny camera yeah so yeah thanks to us I got this camera okay And I, I was not expecting. Actually, I mean, it's not just for marketing things. Very seriously, I, I was not expecting this to uh, this camera to be like this awesome. Okay. So here, let me remove the filters. So this is it, and see the. See, it looks like I need a barlow. That's why when you add things like that far, you will have to have. A barrel lens, so I'm gonna use the barrel lens from Celestron. Okay, as we want to do have their own also barrel lenses. Okay, but you must, but this is what I have for now. Okay, I'm not gonna buy any more. <laughs> I have lots of uh, lenses at home also. Okay, so yep, here I installed the barrel lens. Yeah, let's go. So you must have a barrel lens once you have a Newtonian. This is a Newtonian telescope. It's a must have. Okay. Now let's see. Ah, it looks like the moon is away from the view from the scene. Yeah, and it needs focus, of course. Yep, that's it. A little bit. Okay, let's focus. See, see also how how strong your like. I think I think the telescope is going to when you put uh, just a camera and this camera has no lens with it okay it's like a DSLR camera with, without the, the lens of the camera like a DSLR camera but without the lens of the camera so the same idea applies let me just I need to see the laptop I know it's funny, you said standing before uh, in front of the telescope. See, that's why I put a, a focal reducer because it's hard for me within this uh, field of view to see where the, f the moon is. So it's important that you must have with this ca uh, camera, okay, a focal reducer. It's a very, very important. So I'm gonna, anyway, I'm gonna put one because it's really hard for me to take a picture like that. So let's see. Yeah, 
see how now it's easier for you to take a picture now just a little bit of focus and that's it you're done okay and then see so strong okay the zoom is very strong so now you can just play with the filter filters uh, I have a filter wheel at home just don't use a filter wheel it's too heavy okay it's too heavy unless your telescope is just like uh, it's uh, one of those big telescopes okay, this one such a telescope like the one that I have test on Aston Master 1 that did EQ okay so So I'm trying to lose the, the ruler. So this is the first filter. First, the uh, the very first filter, there was no filter. This was just an empty uh, ring. Okay, there's no filter on it. Now we are uh, adding the first filter. Okay, so the ruler has no here. I can put my finger inside it. Okay, and I just simply can't see it. Here, let's see. So you see here is a is an empty filter. I can just like get my finger out of it. Okay, let me just move the moon picture so you can see it because the moon is moving. And that's why uh, you have a like I, I feel I need another uh, <laughs> stack of uh, uh, focal reducers. So this is another color. And yeah, because I'm moving the the focus is not that steady, so don't worry about that. Okay. My telescopes. Uh, like. So yeah, and this is another one. This is another one. The moon is around like it's uh, setting now, so that's why I have to be quick. So this is uh, still I have uh, two filters now. Okay, and that's so you can barely see. Okay, but of course I will have to increase the brightness from GC if you from the camera. So I can see more. And yes, of course, I will have to focus. That's for for sure. Okay. So next is the last filter. Also, something else that's regarding the moon. Okay, guys, uh, SV Bunny has also those uh, variable filter. Uh, I mean, not the variable filter. I'm sorry. They are the neutral density filters. They come like in this uh, in this cakes. Okay, it says uh, it says on it uh, SV Bunny uh, moon and, and neutral density ND uh, moon uh, series kit. Okay, even if you don't, you can't see it. Uh, that well, 
okay but that's the as they are and you have like four types of neutral density filters uh, ranging from uh, or their their series are like uh, uh, 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.9 and they have 1.2 and the 3.0 so those are also from Azubani and they are really sweet seriously sweet you must have them okay if you want to do something with the moon you should do the uh, use use these okay they are really really sweet and can make the picture really awesome okay I know you would say why not installing it it's not there's no time the moon is around to sunset Maybe, maybe, maybe I can just install one uh, for at the at the last one. Maybe the 0 0.6 you can just set as test. Okay. I'm just looking at uh, the the number there. Uh, this is the this is the six point. Oh, so I can install it right here in the filter. Can use the very first one, CMT. <coughs> yeah, the moon is not yet down in the sea, okay, because. the filter down okay and then you just want the moon towards it okay let's focus now remove the laser and See? Now, of course, I will have to play with the graphics, okay, just to get it clearer. A little bit of contrast, for example, yeah, and a little bit of brightness from here or there, okay. Sharpness, anyway. So it's the same. You can do that with the Astro app, okay? And you can do even uh, the exposure can make it uh, manual, okay? Same thing. The, all those are available in the um, in your apps, and then you can also record the video over here. So, yeah. So. Um, So yeah, so this is me, okay, and uh, thanks for watching guys, uh, please do really buy this camera, it's really important to have it, uh, 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 you can get it from AliExpress for $35, on, uh, uh, also on AliExpress you can get the uh, 205, the SV205 for 100, it's a mega, it's a it's megapixel uh, camera. Same thing, same thing, same idea, same everything. Uh, the only thing that this camera can do is uh, planetary imaging. It's not dedicated for uh, a deep sky imaging. Okay, it's good for planetary imaging. Okay, and uh, that's it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, you're welcome. Okay, if you if you are a company from those companies who want to also use my channel to advertise for their uh, equipment i'm really uh, ready to uh, do that uh, for you okay send your equipment and i'm gonna do it uh, for you thanks